What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Today, I'm actually in the attic of one of the museums downtown by the White House. And what we have to do is they're getting a reverse osmosis uh, water purification system, and we're going to build a pan in here, a drainage pan, in case it breaks, because there's uh, valuable artworks below us. So right here is where we're going to be working. Not a lot of space to work with, but we're going to make the foreman today. We're going to put a drain line in here that's going to go all the way over to here. And then we're going to be mixing up cement by hand to pour in it tomorrow. So I'm going to get to work framing this sucker up. All right, so here's what we got. We got it all framed up. And what we're doing is we're doing a four inch curb here. Um, I'm gonna recut these pieces because the floor is not level to make sure that they're dead on so they can screed it real easy. But what you can see is this will come out. To make it easy on myself to take it apart, you see I use those angle brackets. I can unscrew that, pull that piece out, pull this out, and it'll make it easier for the concrete guys instead of having to try and pull up the whole thing in one uh, scoop. We got 16 of the 30 bags of cement here. We'll bring the rest of them in the morning and we'll have our concrete finisher in here that'll go through and fix it. You can see, here's our drain right here. So everything will fall towards that, goes across the floor and out. And I'm out. Peace. Video. Well, it's been uh, about a month since we were actually in here. We can see the curb that we have right now. Uh, basically, if the reverse osmosis uh, unit fails, it's got a tub to go ahead and catch all the moisture. You got a drain line with this pipe that's going over here to the floor. So that way we won't damage any materials, of course, downstairs uh, below us because there's million dollar artworks and stuff there. What we're covering this with this, this is actually a two part marine coating, floor coating. Uh, we've got caution yellow that we're going to do the curb with and then gray on the inside of it to make sure that it's well protected, sealed up, and more waterproof. So I'm going to mix this stuff up and I'm going to get it on down here. Alright, so we've got the first color, the yellow, all the way on here around with the epoxy paint. It's a marine base paint. It's expensive as can be. And because of the pandemic, I literally had to run all over the place to find it um, because it's a two-part hardener and stuff. Um, two gallons of stuff cost me over $400, but it's waterproof and things. And see, nobody will mess up on there. So now we're going to put the gray in here and get this thing together. And then we've got, we've got, got, these two, we got to paint these too. These are basically to cover up the pipes to make sure that nobody gets hurt um, or messes up the pipe walking over. So we got to paint these yellow as well. All right, so we have painted it. We've got the yellow caution over here to make sure people see that uh, there's a curb here. The drain's over here. We've got the gray, which matches the other floors over here. Uh, this needs to dry out for several days, but it's a marine type finish. We also made covers here, walk boxes, to make sure nobody uh, crushes the pipes and things on that. So what'll end up happening is, is there'll be a water purification system that goes in here if something happens and it ends up breaking, this pool or this retention uh, pool will be able to catch it and then it'll go through the drain, go through the PVC pipe to the floor drain and not mess up the priceless artworks. So we're done. And I appreciate you guys being here. And this is actually one of the fun things about working the Smithsonian is you get to see how one of the places actually work. And I've seen some really interesting stuff in the Natural History Museum where you look where they're actually doing work behind the scenes where they got jars full of frogs and stuff or um, digging up dinosaur bones and things. And uh, I really, really like working for Smithsonian. So when you come to one of the art museums and stuff, chances are you're in areas where I've worked. I'm Mark Holmes and well, this'll be here for a long time at the Smithsonian. I'll see you guys soon.